I e o b o t I j a g a s i m o v Escape. And Susan Kelvin returned from hyperbase. Alfred Lenin was waiting for her. The old man never spoke about his age, but everyone knew it to be over 75. And his mind was keen, and if he had finally allowed himself to be made director uh, emeritus of research with r e v o l v e r as acting director, It did not prevent him from appearing in his office daily. How close are they to the hyperatomic drive? He asked. I don't know, he replied. She replied irritably. I didn't ask. Hmm, I wish they'd hurry, because if they don't, consolidated might beat them to it, and beat us to it as well. <coughs> Consolidated. But have they got to do it? Well, if not to the Omni ones, it's the calculating machines. I was maybe f o r g e t r o n i c but that doesn't mean they are better. Robertson is calling a big meeting about it tomorrow. He's been waiting for you to come back. Robots of U.S. Robot and Mechanical Man Corporation, son of the founder, pointed his lean nose at his general manager and his Adam's apple jumped as he said, You start now. Let's get this straight. The general manager did so with a l a c t i t y Here's the deal now, Chief. Consolidated robot. approached us a month ago with a funny sort of proposition. They brought about five tons of figures, equation, all that sort of stuff. It was a problem, see, and they wanted an answer from the brain. The terms were as follows. He ticked them off on thick figures. A hundred thousand for us, if there is no solution, and we can tell them the missing factors. Two hundred thousand, if there is a solution, plus cost of construction of the machines involved, plus quarter interest in all property derived therefrom. The problem concerns the development of an interstellar engine. <coughs> Robertson frowned and his lean figure stiffened, despite the fact that they have a thinking machine of their own, right? Exactly. What makes the whole proposition of foul ball, chip? Level, take it from there. Ab, level, look up from the far end from the conference table, and smoother is s t o u b l e d Chin with a faint rasping sound, he smiled. It's this way, sir. Consolidated head thinking machine is broken. What? Robust half r o a d That's right, broken. It's carpet. Nobody knows why, but I got hold of some pretty interesting guesses. Like, for instance, that they ask it to give them an interstellar engine with the same set of information. <coughs> they came to us with it, and that it cracked their machine wide open. It's scrap. Just scrap now. You get it, Chip. The general manager was widely jubilant. You get it? There isn't any industrial research group of any size that isn't trying to develop a space warp engine. And Consolidated and U.S. robots have had the lead on the field with our super robot brains. Now that they've managed to foul their job, we have a clear field. That's the nub. The motivation. It will take them six years at least to build another and they are sunk, unless they can break ours too. It's the same problem. The president of US robot 
bulged his eyes wide. The dirty lads hold on cheap. There's more of this. He pointed a finger with a wide sweep. Lenin, take it. Dr. Alfred Lenin viewed the proceeding with faintest scorn. His usual reaction to the doings of the vast liberal faith business and sales division. His unbelievable gray eyebrow hunched low and his voice was dry. <coughs> From a scientific standpoint, the situation, why the Isla entirely clear is subject to intelligent analysis, the question of interstellar travel and the present conditions of physical theory is uh, vague. The matter is wide open, and the information given the consolidated of, uh, to each thinking machine, assuming this, we have to be the same. Was similarly wide open. Our mathematical department was given the thorough analysis, and it seems consolidated has included everything. Its material for submission contains a law development of uh, Prankia's space warp theory, and apparently all, all pertinent astrophysical and electronic data. It's uh, quite a mouthful. <coughs> Robertson followed uh, anxiously. He interrupted too much for the brain to handle. Lenin shook his head decisively. No, there are no known limits to the brain's capacity. It's a different matter. It's a question of the robotic laws, the brain. For instance, could never supply a solution to a problem set to it if the solution would involve the death or injury of humans. As far as it would be concerned, a problem with only such a solution would be insolvable. If such a problem is combined with extremely urgent demand that is it be answered, it's just possible that the brain of your robot after all would be presented with a dilemma where it could neither answer nor refuse to answer. Something of the sort must have happened to consolidated motion. <coughs> he forged what the general manager urged on, go ahead, Dr. Lenin, explain it the way you explained it to me. Lenin set his lips and raised his eyebrow in the direction of Dr. Susan Kelvin, who lifted her eyes from her precisely folded hands for the first time, her voice was raw and colorless. The nature of a robot's reaction to a dilemma is startling, she began. Robot psychology is far from perfect. As a specialist, I can assure you of that, but it can be discussed in qualitative terms, because with all the complications introduced into a robot photonic brain, it's built by human and is therefore built according to human values. Now a human quote in an impossibility often respond by a retreat from reality, by entire into a world of delusion or by taking to drink, going off into hysteria, or jumping off a bridge. It all comes to the same thing. <coughs> a refusal and inability to face and the situation squarely, and so the robot, the dilemma is mildest will disorder, help it to delay and and it's worst, it will burn out every positronic brain fast repair. Ah, I see, said Robinson, who didn't. Now, what about this information consolidated wishing to us? It's undoubtedly involved, said Dr. Kelvin, a problem of a forbidden sort. But the brain is considerably different from consolidated robot. That's right, Chip. That's right. The general major was 
energetically interactive. I want you to get this because it's the whole point of the situation. Susan Calvin's eye glittered behind the spectacles and she continued patiently. You see, sir, consolidated machine, the super thinker among them, are built without personality. They go in for functionalism. You know, they have to. Without US robots' basic patent for the emotional brain passage. Their thinker is merely a calculating machines on a grand scale, and their dilemma ruins it instantly. However, the brain, our own machine, has a personality, a child personality. It is a supremely deductive brain, but it resembles an idiot savant. It doesn't really understand why it does. It just doesn't it. And because it's really a child, it's more resilient, rapid and so serious, you might say. The robot physiologist continued, here is what you are going to do. You have divided all of consolidated information in the logical unit. You are going to feed the unit to the brain singly and cautiously. When the factors enter, the one that creates the dilemma, the brain-child personality will hesitate. Its sense of judgment is not mature. There will be a perceptible interval before it will recognize a dilemma as such. And in that interval, it will reject the unit automatically before its brain passes can be set in motion and ruined. Robertson Adams on Apple Scalmed. Are you sure now? Dr. Kelvin masked an impatient. It doesn't make much sense, I admit, in lay language, but there is no conceivable use in presenting the mathematics of this. I assure you, it is as I say. The general major was in the beach breach instantly and fluently. So, here's the situation, Chief. If we take the deal, you can put it through like this. The brain will tell us which unit of information involves the dilemma. From there, we can figure why the dilemma isn't, why the dilemma. Isn't that right, Dr. Bogart? There you are, Chief. And Dr. Bogart is the best mathematician we'll find anywhere. We give a consolidated uh, no solution answer with a region and collect a hundred thousand. They are wrapped with a broken machine. You are wrapped with a whole one in a year, two maybe. We will have a space warp engine or a hyper atomic motor. Some people call it. Whatever you name it, it will be a beast thing in the world. Robertson chuckled and reached out. Let's see the contract. I'll sign it.